everything that you should know about AMC's price action so far, but you don't. Look at this. According to Chartex Exchange, AMC off exchange versus dark pool versus lit exchange volume orders that have been executed. Today's off exchange so far and dark pool volume is 2.6 million shares, which equals 58.45% of the whole volume. 58%. This is in favor of dark pool trades, guys. Compare this with the total lit volume. Direct executed orders, people who reroute their orders. We're having 41.55% equals to 1.8 million shares. Now it's time to scale back. Look at the big picture. Over the past 30 days, the average off exchange and dark put rates, all combined, volume has been 56.61% versus the average lit volume orders that were executed directly to the exchange, not wholesalers, has been only 43%. Moving towards the option chain, guys, this week, as you can see over here, nothing significant for options that expiring out of the money so far at these prices. But I want you to pay attention to the dates. If you look over here, we're talking about September 16th. We have 108,000 contracts expiring out of the, of the money. This means that people already purchased months ahead contracts with uh, strike prices fluctuating around $20 or even higher. And if you look for January, extremely out of the money, people purchase uh, a lot of contracts and the current open interest, we're having 230,000 contracts currently out of the money. Just think about people are expecting maybe potential crazy run-ups coming from the gamma squeeze or from the squeeze itself. And they're expecting, you know, the squeeze didn't fall below these levels even after some of the sell-offs and some people taking profits. Just think about it. 230,000 contracts. Remember, usually, thus far, before earnings, the week before earnings, uh, we usually see a uh, major, major sell-offs, a lot of ladder attacks. As you can see over here, we opened percent and a half, two percent in red. Then we turn green. Uh, it's kind of a battle, but obviously this week, guys, in my opinion, uh, will be a red week. Will be a week in which fifteen dollars will be the average trading price. Sure, it's just Monday and hard to predict. Looking at least through the option chain to figure it out what are the expectations but if people actually are looking into trading options this week in my opinion they will be targeting the 15 hours or 16 hours max uh, because as we all know they don't want to allow mc to run up on the natural price action on a natural extremely good results to the earnings call right which everyone expects also don't forget the average dark pool data that i just shared with you right we are having more than a half of the volume on the average for the last 30 days. And this is just for the last 30 days. I guarantee you that if we go over the last six months, 12 months, still we will have more than 50% uh, orders executed through the off exchange or dark pools. Obviously hedges are in charge and definitely day traders or people who are uh, actually trading options don't help at all on the price action. Because the fluctuations that they're giving are just boosting the already created price action from the hedges. Just think about it. Hedges want, let's say, $15, right? They're creating this buying pressure, pushing to the $15, then coming up with the option chain in people who are, don't care about AMC or a AMX or whatever company, right? They just buy options and looking certain aspects of the company. How far they can push, what is the volume, open interest, how much is the premium, right? So many different fluctuations. So they will be coming, trading, and then going away so sure it is possible looking how how the the chart actually goes it is possible actually to close green today it is possible actually to be green tomorrow as well because as we also uh, there is a very very low interest of trading calls so far so they have to boost this interest right they have to boost the interest with how with a very good price action uh, especially overall the market doesn't look amazing uh, crypto is red the all major indices are wrecked. So uh, having a couple of stocks, you know, uh, invert correlating. Nasdaq is up, which is, again, significant uh, in comparison with, with Dow and S&P. So definitely, guys, if they want to get some contracts, the only way to do so is, you know, letting the stock to run. Like I said, in my opinion, uh, before earnings, it's very likely, in my opinion, another financial advice to close around or at $15.
Leave your expectations for this week, guys. Are we going to trade sideways or are we going to see some major differences on the way up or on the way down? Subscribe to the channel, guys. Like this video and come back for more.